What's up, buddy? Come on, buddy, let's go. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Today's video, a lot different, not just a little bit, but a lot. Oh, oh yeah, she's tight. But before we get into today's video and what it is and why, I have a couple important things that I want to hit on real quick. As you can tell, I'm getting her all ready. Check it out. Got the duck rig ready to go. Got floaters. Got the two panel blinds underneath. Tomorrow is the last day of the 2019 season now. There will be a week that opens up in uh, latter January, like the last week of January here in Kansas. But for the most part, ducks close after tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Now we're going out east to where the ducks will be open in January, a lot of January. But what I'm getting at, guys, get out there while you can. Just remember one thing, how long and agonizing summer is. Oh my goodness, y'all remember the summer, how agonizing it was. Now we had a lot of fun trapping pigeons, pigeon hunts, those two things were awesome, right? Not only me, but a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, Bobby, you're right, I cannot wait for the season to get here and the summer is dragging. What I'm getting at, guys, get out there while you can. Doesn't matter if it's a goose hunt, a duck hunt, if you have an opportunity to get out there, get out there. And one thing I'm getting at here is, Guys hunting with new people. I have hunted with some new fellows, some new partners, some new friends. I have met new friends already this season just by people that I've hunted with and I never did before. Some of the people I didn't know much about and then once we hunted once, I'm like, dude, we're just alike. Why, why was I ever like feeling some sort of way about like maybe he's weird or something? Guys, get out there. Give people the benefit of the doubt. We're all out here trying to do the same thing. So. Uh, I know I know I got off on a side course here, but before we get into today's video, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors for this season. It's been amazing, especially Ducks Waterfowl. If you guys want to help support the channel, you know what to do. Go down in the description, pick up something whenever you guys do pick up something from Ducks. I know, it's the Bobby spiel, I know. But it's true, whenever you guys pick up something, it does. It directly supports me and helps me bring you guys more of these videos. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's bittersweet. Bittersweet, it's like it's already coming to an end, you know? Got a little bit of time left, but I'm gonna soak it up while we can. Tomorrow we have a uh, hour and a half drive to go duck hunting. As you can tell, it's really wet. It's been doing nothing but monsooning. So uh, all the goose hunting in the fields, that is, that is a no-go for a while. So stick around for this video. This is gonna be a fun one right here, I'm telling you. Tomorrow we're going somewhere special, so just stay tuned for that video. But seriously guys, thank you so much for an awesome 2019. This video is kind of like uh, just wrapping up 2019 and kind of uh, just remembering it. And um, this video, I uh, this video has been extremely requested and it's all of my shot cam footage. Now a lot of you guys know that I got a shot cam probably, I don't know, what's it been, two months ago? So we don't have a ton of footage with it, but you guys seem to love it. I love it. It's awesome. It's a different perspective. It's up close. It's slow-mo. It's juicy stuff. One thing I want you guys to really pay attention in this video, not only is it requested a bunch from you guys for me to put all of my shot cam footage just into basically a highlight reel, and that's what this is. One thing, guys, pay attention to my shot placement. I do not claim to be the best shot in the world. Not even remotely do I claim to be the best shot but watch my shot. Now, uh, where that is lined up, where the crosshairs is lined up, really depends on how accurate you are to lining up your camera. According to the rail of your shotgun, what I'm getting at, just pay attention to my shot placement. You can learn a lot from this. On the shots that I connected with, look which way the bird was turning. Uh, on, the, on the ones that I missed, a lot of them were birds that were going away from me and they were banking to the right and I was shooting high left or vice versa, you know what I mean? Basically, just try to take something from this video. There's a lot to learn from what this shot cam provides. 
So I really want to help you guys with your accuracy. Again, I do not claim to be the best shot out there. But some of the shots I've made with the shot cam really help not only you guys but myself to look back and learn something. But enough blabbing, enjoy the highlight reel. Yep, yep, I told myself the last time I did this that I was never going to do it again. And it's like only two weeks later and here we are. No, yeah, check it out. The garage is stuffed full of wet decoys yet again. Now the good thing about this time is that they're not icy and completely froze solid. They're just really, really wet. You guys haven't seen this video yet, but this was a few days ago. We sat in the rain morning and evening on a field duck hunt on my lease. Y'all know my lease field? Well, the water portion dried up, but the corn field is perfection. And we killed some ducks, boys. I, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Oh, hi, Fred. What's up, man? He's like, oh yeah, I remember this, Dad. Yeah, the last time I did this, I was like, never again, never again am I gonna use socks in the rain, you know? But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A lot of you have been requesting it. 
a lot of you guys have just been saying, Bobby, good addition with the shot cam. Y'all, it's a game changer. I'm so glad I added the shot cam to my camera video creating arsenal. Y'all know that I'm a one man band out here a lot of times now. Stay tuned. I don't think you guys have seen that video yet. But I had my boy Brad get behind us and he actually filmed from behind with his big camera. So there's a goose hunt coming y'all's way that you don't want to miss. But like I was saying, usually I'm a one man band. So that shot cam, y'all have loved it. So have I. But one big thing to take from it, like I mentioned earlier, guys, it's good to watch this video a few times if you're one of those guys that is looking for some way, ways to better your shooting accuracy, y'all. Y'all will learn that a lot of times if you go back and watch the videos, now I didn't put a lot of my misses in this video because this video is for some of the epic shots, you know what I mean? But a lot of you that have been watching all the videos past, you know, with the shot cam, watch them. Pay attention to where I'm aiming and why I miss. A lot of times, down in the bottom left of the, of the screen, I usually put like miss or high left or something in there. But you guys get what I'm saying. It helps you a bunch just better your accuracy. Look where I'm aiming. Do better than what I did, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But thank you guys for always giving me your video ideas. Just like this one, I need your guys' help again. Drop a comment down below and let me know what videos you want me to do. We're in the armpit of the season. It's going to be coming to an end, and we're going to be getting into snow goose conservation season, which should be a good one. But I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. I know today's video was short, but I hope y'all liked it. My goggles are all fogging up out here. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you on your phone when your boy uploads. If you want to help support the channel, you know what to do. Go down in the description below, click the Ducks Waterfowl link, and pick up a hat or hoodie or something nice. Every time you guys purchase something, it goes directly to supporting the channel and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But until next time, y'all.